Crabman from Crabman Gaming here, and today I am playing my Sega Master System games on an OLED TV. There is Alex Kidd in Miracle World on the Sega Master System, one of the first games I ever played, and I have played through a Switch version all the way through to the end, so sit back and enjoy. The goal of this first world is to make $200 so that you can buy the bike in World 2. What is a bit annoying is you have to actually physically press the console to activate the ring. Ghost in here. Keep going. Went pretty well apart from missing that 20. Oh no. Need to jump over the dragon. It's a little bit weird playing it on the Master System with the Master System controller. Not the easiest. And if you hold down the B button, you can go a bit faster. This dude here always gets me. There's a way you can kill him. There we go. And then this thing almost gets me as well. So we'll play it safe. We'll get the money out of here and the spare life. There's the burger. Not the biggest. Speed run, can go a little bit quicker, and you get the burger, which in Japan is noodles. So good, I'm just going to get the bike, you can get the invisibility cake if you want, the ring you should already have. And this is so much fun on the bike. You want to go fast if you're going for a speed run, but you also want to collect the money. Oh no, no. Ooh, nearly hit that. And this is where you face your first yanking match. I'm Stonehead, the third henchman of the king. I'll let you pass by here if you win three Yankin matches. You must choose either the paper, scissors or stone before the music stops. And the good part is, is the results are always the same. Bad part is if you don't know it. So there should be rock and scissors to start with. And then scissors. Do 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 Darn it, I lose. And then you eat your burger and go on to the next level. This is the water level, you can actually go quite quickly. You can kill that octopus and go underground if you want. But some of these levels can be really quick indeed if you know what you're doing. Can be beaten in. 30 to 40 seconds a level. You're not taking your time. See, that's it for this level. Now, Alex Kidd was inbuilt into the Master System, so I didn't have a case to show you there. However, the next game I've got to show you is Enduro Racer. I had this as a kid, it's awesome. You can check the cartridge out inside. Sadly, no manual but the back looks pretty cool as well. Another absolute child favorite, Enduro Racer. Now it doesn't save your best time because the battery is long since dead, but here we go. And only in the last few months did I realize that this game has 10 levels, but it's the first five levels repeated. And in Japan they had 10 different levels and then you played those whole 10 levels again. So I feel like my childhood is ruined a little bit. But just what a game, it's just so much fun. Hitting the jumps pretty well. Even under a bit of pressure, I'll probably mess this next one up. They're going pretty well indeed. Absolutely love this game. So good to play it again as well. 
And if you're wondering, you can just connect your master system through the aerial in your TV and you can play it on a modern TV. So you can play it on an OLED. Some people might think it's not a great thing to do, but as long as you don't keep it on the same screen all the time, I think it's fine. Near the end, chuck a big wheelie and we're done. What a perfect run. 45 seconds. Having so much fun playing these old Master System games. You get eight points. Are we going to use it on the next level? We are, because I'm only going to play two levels for you in this video. So we'll do... You really want Engine. Engine's pretty good. And Accelerator. They're the two good ones. You don't really need anything else. We're into the desert level. Which again, it's different. It's a different order in the Japanese level. Oh no, that's not what I want it to be. You can follow a pretty straight line in this level. You gotta watch out for people trying to crash into you. Just kind of gotta go around these bikers. It's got a very infectious tune, and this was released on a few different systems as well. And there's a slightly different game on each system, so you can look that up on YouTube if you want to. But even though it's kind of simple, when you're very young, it was just a lot of fun for me. It wasn't too hard. A lot of these early Mars system games just have really brutal difficulty, and this one has the perfect level of challenge, I think. Like, even my younger self could get to the end. And even playing it all these years later, it's not terribly difficult, but it's good fun just to try and get a little bit better each time. All right, we're going to move on to the next game, but there's two levels done. Here we have Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Master System, different to the Genesis games, not in the best condition, but at least it works. The next game is Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on the Master System. A lot of people didn't even realise that Sonic got his own games on the Master System the same time as the Genesis. This is Sonic the Hedgehog 2 from 1992. So here we are, 1992, so the same time as Sonic 2 was released on the Mega Drive or Genesis. So it plays a little bit differently. Nearly got, nearly got done in by the spikes. No, it's, I think that's the whole idea <laughs> to get taken out by the spikes there, but we've got an extra life. I guess a free life. Wouldn't make any sense. I'm not sure you really wanted to go down here. Now I haven't played this game a whole lot, so I'm not super familiar with how everything works. Although generally in Sonic games, the higher up you are is generally where you want to be. There's another free life. Well that's the end. And you don't want to land in the lava. And this should be the end. Play one more level. There's Robotnik. Great mustache. Look at that. Sonic has passed Act 1. Under the ground zone, Act 2. See, there's no, there's no spin dash like Sonic 2 on the Genesis Mega Drive. And I think for a minute, yeah, that's exactly what the game wanted you to do. Tricky. It's quite a challenging game as well from memory. I remember the second boss being very difficult for me in particular. It's like this kind of robot thing. Robot bird. Oh, I missed. It's probably the, the better path up there. Plays pretty well though, so... I think a, a forgotten Sonic game, there was Sonic 1 and 2 on the Master System. I don't think a lot of people have played them. 
Probably because most people had moved on from the Master System by the time it was 1992. Alright, we might play one more level which should feature a boss. Then we'll move along. But I hope you are enjoying Master System games on an OLED. So we are Underground Zone, Act 3. So this is the boss level. All this is is fully a boss level. So nothing else to do in the stage. Roll, have a little roll through. And saved by Robotnik for reasons I don't really understand. And you tend not to get any rings in the boss levels as well, which makes them quite challenging. So we've got this level. It shouldn't be too challenging, but oh, you can slide down the hill. So as long as you stay pretty still, this boss isn't too difficult to defeat. We might just play the first level of the next world. I say world like it's Super Mario. Right, so we've defeated that boss. Should be on to world two. Hang on, what's happening here? Do I just have to hit this thing? Oh, I do. How come the animals that have been saved? Such a legend, Sonic. Sky High Zone. Yeah, remember these kites? See, this kind of feels like it should be the first level because it's all green and nice and lush. Gee, it doesn't really help you with where you're jumping. You're kind of jumping into the abyss. So, back when games weren't really there to hold your hand, you kind of had to learn the stages via muscle memory. We really are high in the sky. And we get the invincibility. Now this is quite hard to control. You basically just press left to keep your kite up in the air. Or your hang glider. Oh, there we go, we're at the end. All right, we'll leave it there. Another childhood game that I had was The Ninja, and I managed to track this down as well. There's my receipt. When I bought it, $15, not the cheapest, but I did want to purchase it. Now this was a game I also had as a kid, but not for very long, as my brother traded it in to get another game. So it is The Ninja. It's quite difficult as well. Again, another game where you just, you need to know what is happening. Ah, nearly got me. So I'll try and get through this first level without dying, but I haven't played it for a while. This rock becomes a ninja, I do know that. Oh, let's try and get through without dying. You get points for accuracy, which obviously I'm going to get none of. Because I'm just flinging my shurikens everywhere. I think someone comes from down here. So really it's another game where the more you kind of play it, the more you know where all the enemies are. I think this gives me better shurikens. Yeah, there we go. This rock is someone as well. It's got to be. Oh no. I got stuck behind that rock too. No. Oh no, got me. And I'm dead. Uh, we'll, give this, we'll give this another go. 
Never claim to be the best at these retro games. Oh no. This guy's alright though, because he's... Doesn't have anything to attack you long range. So this is where you want to go around the rock, and if I knew they're coming, now this time I can be... Oh no, I was going to say better prepared. Quite hard to fling diagonally. Well, you can, just hard. Right, where's the next person coming from? Oh, these guys are fine because they don't throw anything. Good to get nice and square on. Oh, this rock is someone as well. I think we need a boss. All right, more people. We're near the end of this level. Oh dear. Running away is a good strategy. That's a very noble. Oh, here's the boss. This boss man. Oh no. No. No! Well, I've got these better shurikens here. And you definitely get, oh, that is not what I wanted to happen at all. I was meant to go back around the rock, so it didn't get me. Right, where are these next people coming out from? Alright, he's an ninja star dude. Got him. So A and B pretty much do the same thing. Oh, here comes the boss. He's big boss man. Oh no! Got him. Look at that hit ratio 29%. 237 shots. Alright, we're into world number two, which I'm pretty much going to die straight away. It mainly features ninjas in the sand. Sand ninjas? Alright, just block that dude. I don't seem to be killing anyone. I'm just surviving. Maybe they're going to be more straight on. So here I have what I believe to be the most valuable game in my collection. Often going for over $200 on eBay. It is Golden Axe Warrior. It does have a little bit of sticker residue. I was going to swap the covers over, but I haven't done that yet. It is in pretty good condition apart from the sticker on the outside. A very rare game to get a hold of. As you can see the game's here on the inside and it does come complete with a manual. The interesting thing about the manual is, is that it's upside down, which is really, really bizarre. So let's flip it over to the back and I'll show you through some of the manual because you do have to fork out a lot of money to own a copy of this game. I was fortunate to get it for not too much money. What's... Okay, that was weird. The back's upside down. Yeah, some of it is upside down and some of it is not. Which is very strange indeed. Visiting the Sage. So it is a RPG as well. Oh, and here's a map. That's really, really helpful. Some different items that you can get. Some artwork. And that's the end. Here we have Golden Axe Warrior, one of the rarest games on the Mega Drive. This currently goes for around the $150 Australian and up mark on eBay. 
Now, Golden Axe Warrior, you think of a kind of side-scrolling beat-em-up, but this is actually a fully-fledged-out kind of action role-playing game. One also that I am not very good at. But released in 1991. Now, oh, here we go. Have a little save file I made before. It's awesome it saved it. All right, we'll can no, we'll start a new game. We we'll just put C for Crab Man, save a bit of time. Bow was facing a cry, says Death Adder attacked and stole the nine crystals which protected us. Oh, more than the four Final Fantasy crystals. They killed your parents. Destroy Death Adder and get those nine crystals. Now, again, you've only got two buttons, so one does your menu and two just attacks things. So here we are on the first screen. Good colours. Looks a little bit like Zelda. Can I have a chat to these people, I think. Or no. Or do you have to be directly in front? Nine different labyrinths. What's this dude up to? What does he do? Can I help you? A key? Do I have any money? Oh. Horns. You get the horn. When the monsters attacked, I escaped. So pretty cool for 1991. You can save. Oh yeah, that's when I would have saved. You can stay like in free. Yes, please. So three life and three magic. Now let's go in the second building. Death Adder killed the King of Firewood and Princess Tyrus. Firewood's finished. Some have seen Death Adder's monsters near Milliver too. Good luck. I've tried to protect the kid with the sword. What are these graves? Hmm. I don't know. Alright, so this is where monsters are. Now I've seen a, a playthrough where Literally, someone just runs through everything, but you can. No. Like I said, I'm not very good at... Oh, there we go. So I've got one horn. I'm not very good at this game. I'll probably die straight away. I'm, I'm going to go through as many maps as I can till I get somewhere before dying. I probably should have gone back to the end and rested, but... Oh. This is quite a labyrinth though, so I can't go that way. I'll go down here. Oh, got me! I'm dead! Here is Thunderblade, also it doesn't have a box, but the sticker is in pretty good condition. Hey, Super Thunderblade! This is also on the Mega Drive, I believe, but it's also here on the Sega Master System. And it's kind of a top-down shooter, although, whoops, that's number one does attacking for people in the air and so it kind of drops these bombs on the tank in the ground. So I played a little bit of this earlier. It really is quite a fun game. It's not too hard. Like it is hard without being overly hard. And it's quite simple to play. So something you can get into straight away. Plane coming really close to the screen. You can't avoid it. You gotta watch out for it. A bit of bullet hell. Oh no, oh no. Got me.
So let's get out of the way. And we passed level one. And now you get this weird, like, different view, which is almost impossibly hard to know what's happening. And you're literally just spamming buttons. And really just, a, I'm just really just trying to avoid everyone. Yeah, that's got me. I don't remember ever being able to pass this level. I love they keep firing at you on the ground too. I've only got one life left, so we'll play it until you have no lives left. And apologies if you can't hit the dog on the couch as well. He snuck up there and I didn't have the heart to tell him to get off. I just, I think it's just like pure luck that I'm avoiding these. My hand hurts as well. <laughs> just fly high. This is literally just a pure spam. If I survive, it is a miracle. I just got the way. How long is this level? I'm just going the other side. So hopefully they can't get me. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Oh, I forgot last one got me. Is this the end? What are these things? No. Game over. Another game I have here is Teddy Boy, which was released all the way back in 1985 and was kind of the precursor to Alex Kidd. So it has a couple of the same enemies and some of the same animations. Sadly, no manual. And what I do like is when people used to indent their game so they didn't get stolen. So this says Leisure Time Video. So obviously it was once the property of a video store. So we have Teddy Boy released in 1985. It's 36 years ago. This kind of features some of the assets in Alex Kidd, but I don't really understand what you're supposed to do in this game as well. Are you supposed to try and go higher or lower or... I'm sure it tells you somewhere. What are these things? Do I collect these? Oh. Huh. I forgot, how, I forgot how to jump. There's only two buttons, I forgot what to do. Alright, I'm going to try and get as high as I can. You see not. Oh, there we go, apparently I won. Round one, winner. Was it time or was it things I killed? People watching probably know if you're more familiar. That's that thing from Alex Kidd. So it does have some of the same Alex Kidd assets. Oh no. Did you shoot the dice or something happened? Oh no, don't go that way. They'll get me. Yeah, they'll... An Alex Kidd enemy. Not a very tough one. Ooh. It's with these snails. I'm kind of changing my mind a little bit on this game. I thought it was just was terrible and I didn't get it and Now you you jump around shooting things so I just don't know if there's anything Anything else to the game But it's 36 years old so I have to cut it a little bit of slack All right, is it when that TM bar is done? Oh, I'm done! Oh, round three? What's this level? This level is... Oh, beer! In a kid's game. Oh, we got to love that. 
a nice frothy, uh, well, let's call it a calibre. What is this level? Or is this a bonus level? What was going on? I think that was a bonus level. Oh my goodness, what's this level? My eyes. How do I get out of here? Oh, I just go out of here. Alright, we've nearly had enough of this game. But it's... It's growing on me. It's growing a lot more on me than it did the first time I played it. I probably want to see what happens when I actually die. Something's got to get me in a minute, though. How am I surviving? That was nothing got me. I'm indestructible at this game. I mean, you're so good at Teddy Boy. It looks a bit like Alex Kid as well. Do, 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 do. Yeah, near. I'll pass another level. Alright, now we're in Greenland. I sort of really get what the point is. Oh, no, that's the same animation as I was just kid. Alright, on to the next game. Here I have Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, which has some of the best box art on the Master System, featuring Indiana Jones. And sadly, this game doesn't live up to its awesome cover art. Open it up for you. What's interesting about this is it does have a white sticker. A lot of them have this checkered background sticker on. And it does come with a manual. So I'll go through the manual a little bit for you. We'll have a very quick look. Pretty boring manual. It's got the original Sega Master System, not the, not the Mark II that I have. Pretty uninspiring manual. Not very exciting just like the game. Here is Indiana Jones. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now, I know you might have high hopes for this game, but it is beyond average. I played this before, you get a timer as well. Oh no. Oh, it's just, it's really bad. It is really, really bad. Everything moves in slow motion. Everything is, I can't even jump on this ledge. And I'm dead. All right, let's give this another go. All right, I've fallen. I've fallen off. I haven't broken anything. All right, this is as far as I got before. Oh, that's better. Well, I've killed the guy with a gun. That's a better start. Oh no, duck! You just duck bullets. Oh, there's my whip. Oh, you get the whip. How do we get the whip? Oh no. There we go, I ducked down, he didn't see me coming. How... How do I get the whip? Is there a special way over here? Can I... Oh no! Oh no! Alright, again, that sucks. We'll just fall down here, because it actually doesn't... You don't lose much health. I didn't even need to jump up there. Or is that how I got my whip? Oh, you go up here, jump. Don't jump on there. Jump over the ledge. And then you can get your whip. Well, now I can whip fools. So I can dodge their bullets. But it's okay. I whipped him! Oh, that's it. This game's been turned off. And here we have Super Tennis, which I assume sold a lot of copies and 
may have been a budget title for the system. So let's have a look inside. Ah, very interesting indeed. I'd forgotten about this. So we've got a copy of Super Tennis. But in fact, what's more interesting is these codes for Alex Kidd. So before the internet, young boys and girls watching, you couldn't just go on Google and find out the answers to the game. So they've obviously written down what happens when you get to the end. So this looks like when you're playing rock, paper, scissors. The order, this looks like when you get to the end. So they've got a couple of different things here and Bruce Campbell Real Estate, you are getting a shout out 30 years later. I wonder if they're still here in Qdale. Here's their number, here's their number. They also do free market appraisals. But interesting to see someone write down the Alex Kidd codes. Super Tennis, you know when the game's gonna load up because it takes a little bit longer than the Alex Kidd loading screen. But here we are, it's 1986, speed level. I'm gonna pick B, because they picked A before when I played this earlier. And it was so slow. All right, here I am. Oh, I missed it completely. That's weird because like you press the button and nothing happens and then I press it three times and then on the fourth time apparently it let me serve it. Oh, oh. alright I see so you don't toss it in the air it just does that automatically and you got to be ready to hit it. There we go. Oh it just hit my body. This is like me playing actual tennis. Cricket, fine. That's long. This is... The game's okay, I'm just not very good at it. Oh, too long. I'd like to win just one point. No. Just hitting it too late. There we go. I think you just keep pressing the number one button. All right, and I've got to be to the side to hit it. Hey, I hit it. Oh, that was, th you hit that too hard. Someone's gonna get hurt if you hit it that hard. All right, maybe I've got more luck if the computer's hitting it at me. Move to, the, move to the side. There we go. It still goes very slowly though. It's a it's a it's a slow game. Oh, how did I hit that? It's a slow game. Oh, my point. Yes. In. That's right, judge. The judge says I'm in. We're on track to break here. That's out. Come on, that's worse than mine. Come on. Oh, I missed it. What happened? Oh, I hit it. Smash on the net. Yes, take that. Right, we'll try and win this game. Is that what it's called? A game? Game, set, match. So let's win a game. Oh no. Alright, we'll play one more point because we could be here forever. One more point. Then let's wrap it up. And that is all. I have a game here that is cart only and it's Asterisk and the Great Rescue. What I do like about this sticker is the sticker is also an advertisement for the Sega hotline. 95 cents a minute for all your hints, tips, cheats and walkthroughs. Alright, it's loaded up this time. We've got Asterisk and The Great Rescue. 
level one one now I know because I played this before that I have to get this key which really threw me out when I played it oh no no wrong button oh I did punch him in the face take that all right so we've got the key which takes us down here what's the jump button oh the jump button's number one I like how I still get confused with the controls, even when there's only two buttons. Now, I think you have to go this way for some reason. Okay, so I'm okay platforming. So I'm okay. Oh, Alright, secret. Alright, I don't know what those things are. Oh, invincibility! See me moving pretty fast as well. Alright, we got rid of that geezer. Still invincible. All right, we probably need to go right now. Oh no, not in there. Oh, we got 150 points, so I can be happy with that. Jump. Oh, I've got to get the key again. Why do I have to get the key again? Jump, jump, crisscross will make you. Jump, jump. Make daddy will make you. Jump, jump. Daddy and Mac will make you. Jump, jump. So it didn't really show you that you couldn't go down there. All right, jump over the big well and get a cheese. Over the fire. It was like we're in Bowser's Castle right at the start of the game. Some tiny points. 50 points a pop. Oh no. Disappearing thing. Oh, what? how did... How and why? All right. How do I get that thing back? There's a roast chicken up there for some reason. All right, it's back. Maybe gotta to jump to the right. Oh, that was close. What's that thing, another key? Let me get the chicken. Punch this guard in the face. Can you punch these things or you just go through it? Oh, okay. Crawl to get the chicken. Chicken dinner. Oh no, in the, oh, got a little boost from the fire. But this game's all right. Another game you have to give a little bit more time to. I did not like it at all the first time I played it, but it's growing on me. I've got a key. I have here World Cup 93. So this would have been released at the end of the Master System's life. Obviously it is a soccer game. The next game is Tecmo World Cup 93. Look at this dude here. Check it out. Tecmo did the Super Bowl games as well, which are quite popular in the US. Press the start button. Well, it's button one. Configuration. Difficulty. Oh, normal or hard. I was going to set it to easy. To help me out. All right, World Cup, new game. Who are we gonna play as? Check out these teams: Algeria, Argentina, Belgium, Brazil, China, New Chile. Might have been too confusing. Denmark, England, France. Well, this is Germany, but uh, I don't know what FRG stands for. Former Republic. I don't know. I don't know if it ever was a republic. Holland, Hungary, Italy, Japan, Korea, Mexico, Morocco, Peru, Poland, Scotland, Spain, Russia, Uruguay, USA with a strange non-red flag, and Yugoslavia, because we are in 1993. Let's be the USA, USA, USA. Definitely got to play. What do you USA play in white, don't they? But all white looks like we're about to play cricket, but in shorts. Yeah, let's play in white. White versus blue. All right, who's in our group? France, Mexico, and Espanol. I do like the music. Formation. Well, there's not many formations to choose here. I'm going through at the back. 
Exit. Yes. Oh my goodness me. Alright, what's to change my dude? Okay, two seems to be pass. One seems to be slide tackle. It's quite fast this game. Great save. Oh, USA in trouble early. Oh, freaking ball out. This is this is not how I wanted it to go. So two, oh, it's a goal early. Spain have scored. Oh, France, not even playing Spain. So two seems to be pass. One must be shoot. Haven't even got that far. Did I accidentally set it to hard? Because I don't know what I'm doing. Corner? That dude's bottom half has disappeared. He went to get his own corner. Got people disappearing. See, my goalie's doing well. Oh no! I want to at least have one attack before I turn it off. Oh, we're in trouble here. What a goal! 2 0. Sorry, USA soccer fans.